lahat ng mapa- makikita nyo sa pelikula ay nagsasalita ang mga Aquino. Kasi kung gawa-gawa yun, di ako'y gumawa nun, sila yun. At dagami ng mga bashes mo. Oh, that means more money to us. Yeah. 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 So, eto na nga mga old school. Pag-uumpisa na ang official trailer ng Murder or Murder. Patay na naman ang mga anilo dito. Hindi natin binabago ang kasaysayan. Itinatama lang natin at dinadagdagan para hindi malito ang mga kabataan. Lalo na pagdating sa March 1, sa buong mundo, ibabalabas na ang martyr or murderer. Sino ang martyr at sino ang murderer? Let's go! Ang game challenge this time around uh, portrayal. Uh, the Marcus says. Hmm. Like expand your role for it Yes. Uh, well, yung uh, well pareho pa rin aside from the yung preparation, you know. And uh, itong script kasi ni Direct Daryl eh pa patindi ng patindi. So, uh, nitignan ko lang, uh, binabasa ko lang kung mahigi, kung saan ako hindi madadawit at ma- baka makulong ako rito. <laughs> nitignan ko lang, baka, kasi dapat ako ang dadalaw eh. <laughs> Pero, uh, ako I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy the script, I enjoy the story, kasi ang dami kong natitisod na bago mga nadidisclose na ka, na eto pala nangyari do eto pala kasi I was there I was 1986 I was, I was in college so hindi ko alam na ganun pala yung mga nangyayari behind it so uh, ako personally na as, a, as an actor na, nag-enjoy ako but, but the challenge sa akin is ah uh, sandali um, Marcos si isipin mo Marcos during that time eh, lahat ng estudyante eh Uh, halos lahat ayaw kay Marco lahat sumasali ng LFS League of Filipino Student kasama na ako dun eh ngayon nag-play Marcos di ba eh sabi ko eh nag-iiba yung alam mo yung the, the world is turning around tri- sa, sa, sa buhay ko sa, sa aking pag-iisip sa aking knowledge so um, sa akin more of more of uh, like uh ni ni sinusulat ulit yung history sa akin ng buhay sa akin is dahil ako pa si Marcos yun ang ang sa akin challenge okay but if you're your style na copy mo lang yeah oh, <laughs> okay. oh, oh yun isa sa mga challenges din that makes yung buhok ko hirap na hirap kami na makeup artist pa gayahin talaga yung buhok ay buhok ni Marcos parang mga 10 feet yung dating niya eh ni former eh, president okay Christine how many pages naman ang role mo how many pages ang script mo Well, according to Direct Dial, malala daw madami. So, going back to your question po dito, Mario, ano yung challenge thing? Yes, yes. Uh, kumpara dun sa one? Oo. Oh. Kasi you've acquitted yourself, no? Uh, playing, I mean, no? Uh, I mean, you got her picks, you got her, uh, her mannerisms. So, ano na-achieve mo dito sa pangalawa? Uh, dito po sa pangalawa, uh, mas mellow down. So, going back to your question, challenging siya, which I like. So, the more challenging role, uh, the more I um, game. So, this time around, it's a different kind of challenge naman. So, I don't wanna spoil it. I think it's better if you guys watch it. My question, Direct Daryl, is for you. Much as I would love to ask how you achieved your hairstyle, your new hairstyle. <laughs> My question is simple, if you would allow me, no? Um, isang question lang po, and direct to the point. Martyr or murderer, or does it depend on what your politics is? Uh, no. I would like to uh, reiterate that the trilogy is not about politics for me. It's more of a family drama. Though some people would find it very funny, made it malakanyang is a dramedy actually. But when people color it, As a political, uh, it's a, as a political movie, I would uh, correct them that it's a family story. No, only those people who will appreciate it politically are those people 
why not family? <laughs> you know? Sa, palaga, sa tingin ko, sa dami ng nakapanood ng pelikula, hindi sila nanunood dahil nakarelate sila ng politikong sinusubaybayan. Kung hindi dahil nanood sila dahil nakarelate sila dahil at some point in their lives, they also had a crisis inside of their family. So when you watch Martyr or Murderer, you will come across yourself thinking, holding your own family picture, and asking yourself, ang nanay ko ba, ang tatay ko, ang kapatid ko, ako, perfecto ba ako? Sa buhay namin bilang isang pamilya, nagkaroon ba kami ng pagkakataon na nagtitiis kami para sa isa't isa o gumawa kami ng mga bagay na maaring makasakit sa ibang tao dahil sa pagmamahal namin sa pamilya namin. You know, martyr or murderer is not a question you ask uh, weak-hearted people. No? But you know, the Filipino nation is no longer weak. Uh, the Filipino audience is no longer faking its innocence. We are in the age of social media where sources and information is rampant and very much accessible. Hindi natin pwedeng itanggi na minsan sa buhay natin, nagpakamartir na tayo, at minsan sa buhay natin, kung hindi lang krimen, baka nakapatay na tayo ng tao. Maraming salamat po. And President Bongbo, so kailan nagkaroon ng final approval ng trailer mo? At yung 17 revisions ba na dagdagan? Um, the difference po kasi with Made in Malacanang, honestly, Viva and Senator Aimee did expect na kikita. No, it was just sa katarantaduhin ng kalokohan from my side. Tumuha na lang tayong pelikula, sabi ko. Tapos sabi nila, sige game. Tapos, nung gumagawa kami ng pelikula, hinihingi nila sa akin yung trailer ng Made in Malacanang. Tapos, nung sabi ko, hindi ko pa tapos, pero six days ago ko pa natapos, ayoko lang iba panood kasi papatanggal nila yung Sini President Bongbong Marcos na sinasabihan siya ng party ng party. Alam ko, papatanggal nila yun, kaya hindi ko pinapanood. Na, ano na sila, traumatized na sila. So, kada lagay ko ng eksena, tinitignan ng Viva kung anong eksena yon. So, I passed a trailer like uh, four days ago and uh, revised it uh, 15 times and then the next day I revised it again. No, it's not that naman na uh, Irene or President Bongbong will really have to approve it. No, it's all uh, because it's the story of their family. The last say would be with Manang Aini, I guess. Kasi kahit super okay na kay Boss Vincent and Boss Vic, the final say will be with uh, Senator Aini. And even this trailer na is not wholeheartedly approved by the Senator. Really? Well, I just, I just pushed for my creative license and for... Because I wrote and directed the movie. So I said that uh, this is the trailer that I want. This is the trailer that my followers and the Filipino nation deserves. A trailer that is without pretension. A trailer that is uh, really, really Filipino. Straight to the point. So, hindi na nadagdagan yun hanggang 17, ano lang ako, hanggang 17 revisions lang ako. But, with lots and lots of signatures tungkol sa legality ng uh, content and everything. So, I guess that's the, the ito na yung pinakamabait na cut nung trailer. So, yung una kong pinasa, sabi nila hindi daw okay. So, ito na yung, ano, kindest. Wow! So, kaya pala, kamitin mo rin yung anin ng lawyers. Yeah, yeah, nang viva. Ayun. Pero, congratulations, Tere, kasi it's so maganda. It's really so pasabo, di ba? Lalo na the last part, ang mo. Uh, sigurado mamaya sa sabog na naman ng social media. Yes! yes. <laughs> At nagami naman ng bashes mo. Oh, that means more money to us. Yeah. That means more money to us. Yeah. 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 Anong expectation nyo? Uh, kasi it, it broke the records after, uh, uh, of course, pandemic, paano pinalabas last year. Uh, anong expectation nyo sa piling lang ito? What do we expect? More bra more bashers. Kasi lalo na po yung huli, marami pong mga hindi. May 15 million po tayong hindi mag-agree uh, mag doon sa sinabi na yun. 
Kaya gaya po noong May in Malacanang, hindi sila nag-agree tungkol doon sa nag nag uh, mama jo mas lalo po dito 15 million po sila <laughs> I'll keep my answer short and sweet. I think it'll be just as good, and that's the bare minimum, or even better. Um, expectation ko dito sa pelikula na to, um, madurog ang puso nyong lahat. Okay. Hindi, um, ako, I expect that this will be bigger. Um, direct Daryl Yap never fails to surprise us. And it was the first time for us to watch the trailer kanina, and I'm sure lahat tayo na pa, ha? Huh? Ulitin natin, ulitin natin. So I, 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 siyempre pang pinali si Derek eh. I totally uh, agree with uh, my first lady here, na talagang blockbuster ito. It will satisfy the audience more compared sa Made in Malacanang. Ang expectation ko dito, uh, si Boss Big ba nandyan? Si Boss Vincent nandyan? Uh, expectation ko dito, mas malaki ang bonus ng lahat ng cast dito from the audience. Uh, do you agree? Oh, uh, uh, get this in the record. Mas agree, agree sila, Sir Boo. Mas malaki. Ayong uh, hindi nabigyan, magkakaroon na. Um, the, the expectation is more of a child's, uh, child's expectation. No, I... When, when, when I'm pitching a film sa Viva, uh, I always want Boss Vincent to be happy, but bago niya tanggapin, he's always asking himself if this will make his father happy. No? So it's more of a, a child's expectation to make our parents happy. And with, with that motivation, ganun din kay Senator Aini Marcos. So I guess kapag ang expectation ng isang anak ay para sa ikalaliligaya ng kanyang magulang, sa palagay ko, napakalabong hindi magtagumpay ang ninanais natin. So this is, uh, the expectation would be not monetary, the expectation is not really box off, ang plastic. <laughs> Pero the expectation is to make Boss Vincent happy, and the only way to make Boss ha Vincent happy is to make Boss Vic happy. So th that's the only goal that I have because, you know, with my age, I'm only 36. I'm only four years in the business and getting this kind of opportunity. I'm not expecting anything more, but of course, the tap on the back and uh, the handshake of the son of Boston. So that's it. Because I'm not going to comment on bonus, because I'm part of the Kita. If we have bonus, I'm going to be the part of the Kita. So I'm not going to be the part of the Kita. Did you ask any one of the main cast to tone down or, or, or improve their performance from the first one to this new one? And if if uh, if, if that that happened, sino sa kanila? Uh, I'm a very collaborative uh, artist, po, uh, Miss Leia. Dito kasi sa if you will notice sa meeting malakang yung sobrang sobrang light lang ng role ni Imelda Marcos. Hindi siya masyadong uh, tumbaga naging spicy dun sa part na yun, no? Dito naman sa... With ano? With uh, Isko? Yes. Uh, dito naman sa Martyr or Murderer, this is actually the character development of Senator Aimee. Eh. From being a uh, from being a uh, young mother in Made in Malacanang, dito medyo nag-itch na siya. Meron na siyang mother instinct. Medyo mas nag-tone down na yung kanyang pasigaw-sigaw, no? Tapos dito, makikita din natin yung sa Martyr or Murderer, yung pinanggalingan ng love story ni Ferdinand at ni Imelda. This will explain how protective Imelda and Ferdinand to each other. So, I guess, wala akong naaalalang sinabihan ko na mag-tone down ng acting or mas uh, i-intensify pa. You know what, Ms. Leia? I'm a fan of my, uh, of my cast. Napaka-uhusay. Ah, feeling nyo naman, bobolahin ko kayo, pero hindi ko na pupurihin si Sir Cesar and Christine. But Rufa is really phenomenal in Isko and Rufa scene. No? It's a, it's a six-minute dialogue without cut. Yes. 
And I'm gonna share you something, no? Akala ko kasi si Jun, ni, ni, si Jun Lalit, tatanong niyo sa akin yung naging problema ko kay Rufa. Rufa is so into the character, <laughs> na sabi niya sa akin, Direct, do you want this to be in verbatim? Gusto mo ba per word kong sa ulado? Sabi ko, yes. Kasi yung huli mong line, yun ang magiging sagot ni Yorme. So dapat sa ulado yung line, four pages. Wow. You know what? Sa sobrang into ng character niya, nangingilid ang luha niya, there's a line na sa tingin mo ba magsasayang kami ng oras sa sobrang na-carried away si Ms. Rufa? Sabi niyo, sa tingin mo ba mag-waste kami ng oras? Sabi niya, mag-waste kami ng time? Sabi niya, pero umiiyak siya. Sabi ko, cut! Sabi niya, why? Sabi niya, pinaplay ba ko? Sabi niya, umiiyak siya. Sa tingin mo ba mag-waste kami ng time? Sabi niya, mag-waste ng time? 1983. <laughs> Sabi nga ni Yorme, kinalawang na daw siya. It's his uh, first movie after like a decade yata. So, Pero mahusay si Yorme. Yeah, yeah, very. So, ang tagal kong naghintay because they don't wanna take it, not unless they're super prepared. So, they talk muna silang dalawa, should be uh, very ano prepared. Then after that, minimal lang kami ng mga ng bago kasi yun nga, yung napapag taglish minsan si si uh, Rufi tapos minsan si Yorme napapatingin sa camera medyo hindi na sanay no medyo politiko si Yorme sa type na parang kinakausap niya yung camera and all so minimal lang minimal lang but but you know uh, it's really uh, it's really one of the highlights yes. no yung pag-uusap ni Ninoy and Imelda in New York 1983 before the assassination okay. yes Google and Rufa Uh, may love scene ba kayo rito? <laughs> Hindi ba yung nining magkaroon ng love? Bilang mag-asawa ko yun? Hindi yung puro gali? Di ba? Gusto mo ba? <laughs> Ay, bro, alam ko. <laughs> ano? Kuya Jun? Sa movie, oo. Oh, bakit? Sa Jun Yes. Kasi nandito pa ako sa ano eh. Hindi ka pa nakakabubo. Hindi ka pa nakakabubo. Hindi ka pa nakakabubo. Hindi ka pa nakakabubo. Hindi ka si ano, Claudio Bermudez. Claudio Bermudez. Hindi ka pa nakamove on. Pero ngayon, mag-move on na ako. Oo, oh, sige. Oh, be, be, ako, matagal ko na rin na request yun. Kaya oh. kami, Gary, magkaroon kami ng bed scene. Oh. Binigyan kami ng bed scene, nakaupo lang kami sa bed, nagkakwentuhan. Baka na umiiyak lang. Ako, so, sabi ko, na. Oo, oh, eh, matagal. Eh, pangarap ko, Rupa Gutierrez, Rupa, mga oh. partner eh. May sabi bed scene tayo, pero ano, wholesome hug. Oo, mm -hmm. oo. Oh, oh, oh. Sang habla, eh, di diba? Sabi ko, nung ko pa makaano, hinahangad makapartner, dream ko makapartner yung pag-uchers. Makapartner ko nga. Eh, Siyempre, makasawa. Alam mo, pag mga matatanda na, wholesome hug na lang. Kore? Amin yung SCC. Grabe naman yung matatanda. Hindi. Makasakit po naman magsalita. Sakit. Tapos kahit ito, hindi mo makita. Ang ahaba ng dami. Ang may kissing yes. scene, si Young Imelda, tsaka si, si Young Ferdinand. Ah, okay, see. Diba, gano'n naman talaga, diba, companionship na lang when you're older. Correct. Especially isang director na laging makakatapat po sa March 1. At react na rin, ah, ano masasabi mo, dali? Ah, uh, isa na wala naman, diba? March 1. Oh, March 1. Kapag kayo ni Joel Lamangan. Ah, ni Derek Jo. Oh. <laughs> Alam mo, uh, Kuya Jun, I was advised by my lawyers not to talk about people with less than 1 million followers. Oh. Just not to talk about people with less than 1 million followers. Wow! Oh. So, uh, Good! <laughs> Sige. Yun po. I'd rather not comment. Pag po 1 million followers, I'll comment na. Wow! Grabe! That's nice, Rick. And congratulations. Hindi na ako magpapalala. Sagutin ko lang po yun kasi tinanong... Kaya yung love scenes pala niyo. Yung love scenes. Kasi po tinanong din sa akin yan. Kung pwedeng mag-love scenes si Imelda and Ferb. Ang hirap po mag-love scenes nang may nagpo-protesta sa labas. Ay, sino yun? Kung EDSA Revolution po yun, ang hirap mag-sex. Sa tingin ko, yun po yung ano doon, di ba po? Hindi pa pagtagal na stress, di ba? Habang nagpapaputok, papaputok din naman sila. Marami ka naman dire. Eric Da, gaano ka kahirap o madali na ba on your part na malubricate or 
at least malampas na ang box office success ng meaning malapang niya nitong MOM kung sila yun na 700 million yung MIM when I was doing the movie pro of Marker or Murderer, I was not thinking of duplicating any success or testing on other record. I was just um, thinking of, you know, offering to the public the continuation of the story. Because Marker or Murderer is not necessarily what happened after made in Malahanyan. It is literally what happened before and after. So, po ako kung tatanungin ako, the formula is not yet discovered. Sa tingin ko po, box office successes naman depends on uh, the quality of the content. Content is always king. Movie man, or television man, or libro man, or, or social media post. Content is always king. Promotion is always a support. But of course, the relatability and uh, the support of the people will come if the movie or the content is really of quality. So I was focusing much more on the quality, you know, at tapatan yung dating nagawa. Tapos I guess destiny and the support of the people will make it box office, box office if it is destined to hit. No, I'm just praying, we are praying hard na magustuhan ulit ng mga kababayan po na ito yung tela yun. Last question, Derek. After MOM ba, meron ang pang isa iba at mas magugulat ba kami sa sa pang pangatlong ano, installment ng in Pilikula? Well, well, that's my art. I always want to shock people, provoke people. Basically, that is my that's that, that's my tactic. No, I don't deny it. I don't. Um, uh, hindi, it's not something to be ashamed of. That's a marketing move. I find it a very a legitimate aspect of marketing. Well, to shock people and to entice them to watch and to support the movie industry is something that I think is a noble job and giving other artists jobs as well. So, the third installment entitled Mabuhay Aloha Mabuhay or Ma'am is the discussion of how the Marcus has returned from their exile in Hawaii and uh, how they uh, returned in the seat of Malacanang. And uh, as you can see sa trailer, Senator Amy Marcus will be played by Yula Valdez. So, um, the the rest of the cast, of the new cast, will be revealed on the third installment pa po. So, as of now, Yula will only be revealed. The rest po sa third pa. So, I guess the cast will come as a shock then, no? So, especially our industry is very pink. It's very hard to uh, find actors and actresses who will find the courage to play the Marcuses. Even though my actors here, lagi sabi ng sabi, trabaho lang, walang personal, and it's hard to accept job in this industry if it is really politicized, no? But I don't think it's, I don't think it's uh, a bad thing. It's democracy, and uh, only open-minded people can accept and, uh, you know, perform such a uh, job. Dahil nga, naka 750 million ngayon, hindi 700. Pinakamalakas na pelikula ng 2022 last year. For sure, dahil nga, nabigyan ng uh, mas malaki siguro ang budget itong pangalawa, kaya nakapag-shoot kayo sa Morocco, hindi nyo dinaya. Dinaya ka, Christine, pwede konting kwento tungkol sa shoot nyo sa Morocco. Ako, uh, hindi ko in-expect na magiging fun yung shoot namin po sa Morocco kasi mabigat yung mga eksena na ginawa namin doon. At, but at the same time, we get to bond there. So, yun. Maraming distractions, syempre, and then to sa Morocco, uh, first time ko doon. But, yeah, when it comes to work, um, yun, mabigat talaga. And there was one scene, yung last, pinaka-last na eksena ko talagang, I needed Derek Daryl to be there and guide me. Yeah, baka nyo yun. Kwento sa Morocco, as 
aside from nung naglalakad ako sa Morocco, may nakasulubong akong Pilipino, tapos sabi niya, a month ago lang nag-check in dito si Rufa Gutierrez sa Morocco. So nagulat ako na natutun pa sa Morocco. <laughs> Grabe. So, sa ano, oh, hindi hindi sa lama mo niya, yung isa pa mas malaki. Oh, di ba alam niya sa Royal Mansour? <laughs> Sabi ka ng direct, ba't hindi niyo sinabi? Akala nila nag-shoot na doon si Rupa doon. So, hindi naman. Sa Morocco kasi kilala yung mga Marcoses eh. The, uh, the king of Morocco during the time of Ferdinand Marcos and Imelda Marcos, they are super friends with the Moroccan uh, royalty. So di kami nahihirapan. Sobrang lamig lang po, Sir Jerry. Sobrang lamig. Tapos ang nipis ng suot ni Christine, hindi kami prepared lahat. Kasi yung staff namin, sabi namin, siya magsushoot, sabi namin sa desert. <laughs> Akala ko mga staff namin, pag sinabing desert, mailit, nakasort sa mga animal. <laughs> So, lamig na lamig kami lahat sa desert. So, kagaya na sinabi po ni Christine, heavy drama scenes ang nasa Morocco. But, you know, we, we, pulled it, we pulled it off aside from the talent of Christine is because of our kababayans. Napakaraming kababayan natin doon na tumulong sa amin makapag-shoot at makapaghanap ng mga magagandang location. And we are just so blessed. Salamat po sa Viva sa pagkakataong makapunta sa Morocco. Second question ko direct. Dahil nga, for sure, pag-uusapan yung last line, pasabot mo lang sa official trailer. Yun na ba talaga ang ano, doon sa maraming versions, yun na talaga yung, kumbaga, panghuling linya o may iba pa sa sanang linya na na pwedeng kwento tungkol sa linya pinag, pa, na naging last line ng trailer. Um, uh, alam ko po kasi papabago ng Viva, kaya ginawa ko phone scene. Kasi po pag uh, pinaarte ko na yung bobo talaga doon, magumulubi kami. So ginawa ko muna ng phone scene, alam ko papapalitan eh. So, yun na po yung pinakamabait. Hindi po talaga yun yung pinapasabi ko. Pero na, na, nag-usap po kami ni Boss Vincent, ni Boss Vic na, you know, the own, uh, alam niyo naman po eh, kung ako ang goal ko talaga is mang probo to Senator Imi to tell the story that the Rosarios want to help the entertainment industry lang, period. They don't want any imprints, they don't want anything, they just, they just want the movie to do good. No, but you know, as a very bad person, I always try to, I always try to magnet controversy because it sells. No, I, I am not putting that line to to gather hate, but that's what it is. I mean, the Marcos has filed electoral protest, so ano po sa tingin natin yun? Nag-file lang sila electoral protest, trip trip lang. <laughs> Ibig sabihin nun, yun, yun ang feeling nila. Diba? So ako, I'm just, you know, being true to, true to the message, but uh, of course, I'm still being bounded by contracts and uh, moral clauses. So I said yes, but if your question is, if that's the kindest, that's the super kindest, it's not at all in my plan. Thank you. Thank you. Greg Darin, based on the trailer that we've seen, it's consistent of pangyayari prior to the Made in Malacanang, then meron din po after. Uh, kumbaga sir, uh, kinumbay niyo po. Tapos may mga inputs po kayo ng mga clips, katulad din po nung sa Made in Malacanang, na mga original materials. Sa lakas po ng loob niyo na magpasok ng original content, for sure may mga usapan na po kayo. Kasi sa legal thing eh. And tell, us, tell something more po. Uh, other movie makers would try to put some light to the thing that they are re well researched. They are they are academically uh, academically founded. Well, to their surprise, all of my materials, all of them are from are not actually Marcos materials. Lahat ng mapa makikita nyo sa pelikula ay nagsasalita ang mga Aquino. I'm just interpreting what they are saying. After all, I'm a writer and a director of what is happening during those times to the Marcoses. Habang pinapakita yung libo-libong nakikipaglibing kay Ninoy, yun nakita natin. Pero yung reaksyon ng pamilya Marcos na pinagbibintangan, yun ang pinapakita ko. And I don't think I have to research about it and to have academical support to tell the reaction of a family. When it comes to the to the permits and licensing of the videos being used, aside from the fair use, 
kung saan public domain na yung mga mga interviews na we need nila ang rights, Diva also managed to get, you know, um, uh, to get license dun sa mga gagamitin namin. Pero mostly, sir, ang mga nakuha po namin is public domain na, paulit-ulit. But I opted not to show the killing of Senator Ninoy in this film. So they will not be experiencing uh, that uh, moment that has been, you know, rerun for almost like four decades now. Yun lang po ang hindi ko mapapakita sa pinaka. The rest, uh, lahat, uh, interviews ng mga Aquino. So I don't think na may gawa-gawa ako dito kung ang source ko ay sila. So I don't think na may gawa-gawa ako dito kung ang source ko ay sila. <laughs> Kasi kung gawa-gawa yun, di ako yung gumawa nun, sila yun. <laughs> so, kapag sinabi nilang at least kami researched and academically based, I am like that too. It's just that I'm more creative than these movie makers. And in making, uh, in making story more interesting, more compelling, other than you know, sell my shit like I'm not educated enough and to use other people for promotion.